Hi everyone, I am Gautam, I am physics faculty. Now I am going to discuss a problem related to dot products. Here they have given two vectors, A bar and B bar, two vectors are given. And question is, component of A bar, component of A bar perpendicular to vector B bar and in the same plane. So how to handle when they are asking component and they are telling perpendicular to another vector in the same plane, what does it mean? First of all, we have to analyze that. So let us take first two vectors. This is the vector A bar and this vector let us take it as B bar. There are two vectors no doubt here and they are inclined with some angle theta. Now I can resolve this vector A bar into two components I can resolve. But to resolve two components where is under direction means let me draw one perpendicular to B bar. Let me draw one perpendicular to B bar. So now I can resolve this A bar vector into two components, one along B bar and one along this direction. Okay, I am telling one along this direction. What is the direction? Let me give some unit vector, n cap. Let me write here n cap. What is n cap, sir? n cap is nothing but unit vector, unit vector normal to B bar or perpendicular to B bar, normal to B bar in the same plane, in the same plane. So this is the given information. So now unit vector normal to B bar in the same plane. Now what should I write here? N cap is unit vector, normal vector we can write like that. And our target of what I told A bar dissolving into components. Here it makes angle theta here means we can write this as a cos theta and this one what should I write a sin theta resolving of vector into components everybody knows that so here if a vector is a bar if it resolves components along b bar here theta is there so along b bar we are getting a cos theta and perpendicular to b bar perpendicular to b bar we are getting a sin theta we are getting a sin theta now these are the two components we noticed a cos theta and A sin theta. Now our target is what they are asking here. What we can write. First of all before going to what they are asking. How to write this A bar vector let us see. How to write the vector A bar. Vector A bar it has two components right. It has two components. One component is called as what? A cos theta. A cos theta. That is along which direction? That is along which direction? Observe carefully, A cos theta is along direction of B bar, along B bar. But B bar is some vector. I want to take unit vector means, unit vector of B bar is nothing but, I can write B cap. You know that unit vector is always in the direction of given vector. Unit vector direction is always in the direction of given vector. But why we are taking unit vector here? What's the purpose of taking unit vector here? Because this a cos theta is the value. I want to make this a cos theta as a vector. If I want to make this a cos theta as a vector, what should I do? I have to multiply with some unit vector. Unit vector which is in the direction of a cos theta. a cos theta is in the direction of b bar. If I multiply a cos theta into b bar, it is dangerous. b bar magnitude may be 1, may not be 1. If its value is not 1, if you multiply, then this value will change. You must not change this value, but it must have direction means just take unit vector of B bar, unit vector of B bar and multiply to this one. What is the unit vector of B bar? B cap. So now if I write A cos B, A cos theta B cap, A cos theta B cap, what happened? This A cos theta became vector, A cos theta became vector, A cos theta B cap is a vector. Now A bar is adding this vector and this vector. Now another vector is what? A sin theta is magnitude. But I want to make the magnitude as a vector means what should I write? Unit vector along the direction. What is unit vector along A sin theta? N cap. So multiplying A sin theta with N cap, this also became vector. Now I can write A bar as, A bar vector I can write as, a cos theta into b cap, a cos theta into b cap, 
plus a sin theta into n cap a sin theta into n cap this is the vector a bar vector a bar let me write in the next page just one what i wrote here a bar is equal to a cos theta into b cap plus a sin theta into n cap a sin theta into n cap now actually what i need what i need from what i need means we have to check the question we have to check the question what we need in the question component of a bar component of a bar perpendicular to vector b bar and in same plane component of a bar a bar component we need but it must be perpendicular to perpendicular to vector b bar perpendicular to vector b bar so observe here there are two components for a bar one is a cos theta b cap one is a sin theta n cap this is the component along b bar this component is along b bar you can observe how it is along b bar sir see here component here a cos theta is along b bar direction a cos theta direction b bar direction same and what about a sin theta perpendicular to b bar a sin theta is perpendicular to b bar so a sin theta n cap we have to write vector right a sin theta n cap is in which direction perpendicular to b bar our target is this one they are asking this one so what should i write a sin theta n cap a sin theta n cap is equal to a bar minus a cos theta b cap a bar minus a cos theta b cap b cap this is my formula this is my formula what is this one a bar minus a cos theta b cap sir can i further divide this one means here one thing i can write i heard that in dot product a bar dot b bar is ab cos theta yes a bar dot by b bar is ab cos theta everybody know this one sir from dot product so from here what should i write about a cos theta a cos theta can be written as a bar dot b bar by b can i write like that you observe carefully here can i write or not here you observe what is this one a bar dot b bar a bar dot b bar is what i wrote a b cos theta because dot product of two vectors that is only main topic dot product of two vectors a bar and b bar inclined with theta then a bar dot b bar is a b cos theta that is our main dot product concept from there i can write this a cos theta value as what a bar dot b bar by b a bar dot b bar by b or if, if you want you can write like this also a cos theta is equal to a bar dot b cap what is b cap sir because we know that b cap is also nothing but b bar by b vector by its magnitude is called as unit vector so you can observe here clearly this is a b cap is unit vector what is unit vector vector by its magnitude so here you observe b bar here what is there b so b bar by b is a bar dot b cap a bar dot b cap that means what i understood from here i understood that simply a cos theta can be written as a bar dot b cap this a cos theta i can replace with a bar dot b cap so now finally what should i write here a sin theta n cap a sin theta n cap is equal to a sin theta n cap is what a bar minus observe carefully here a bar minus a cos theta b cap but in the place of a cos theta what you are putting a bar dot b cap so a bar minus a bar dot b cap into b cap so finally i am writing like this a bar minus a bar dot b cap a bar dot b cap into b cap into b cap i think now you are clear about a sin theta n cap is a bar dot minus a bar minus a cos theta b cap what is this a sin theta n cap this is the this is called as component of this is called as component of a bar 
perpendicular to b bar perpendicular to b bar in the same plane in the same plane if you know this formula happily we can substitute and you can get the answer if you don't know formula you have to derive this one and you have to do in exam practically it takes long time practically it takes long time deriving the formula and doing so my suggestion when such type of problem is given you have to learn the formula first you have to know derivation without knowing derivation don't learn formula beta first you have to know how to handle this given data so what i got finally the formula a sin theta and cap here what is given here in the question they gave a bar and b bar what is a bar is given the question let us check it out a bar what value they gave a bar 2i plus 3j b bar i cap minus j cap let us take those values a bar is 2i plus 3j 2i plus 3j and what is b bar i cap minus j cap b bar not b cap so b bar is what i cap minus j cap so b bar is i cap minus j cap a bar here i want b cap so what is b cap b cap is nothing but we know that is a vector by its magnitude so what is b bar magnitude b bar magnitude is nothing but square root of 1 square plus 1 square because here i cap magnitude 1 j cap magnitude minus 1 uh, simply you have to take one don't take minus 1 or you can my because minus is for what direction so 1 square plus 1 square what will get here square root 2 square root 2 so b cap can be written as i cap minus j cap by root 2 so now you have a bar value you have b bar value and you have b cap value so you just substitute what is our target a sin theta n cap this is a target actually question what they asked me is to find a sin theta n cap a sin theta n cap is a bar minus a bar dot b cap into b cap now what is a bar value a bar value just know what we wrote here 2i plus 3j yes 2i plus 3j let me write here 2i plus 3j a bar value 2i cap plus 3j cap and what is uh, again 2i cap 2i cap plus 3j cap this is a bar value and uh, what is the b cap value dot b cap is there so what is a b cap value we can take here b cap value is just now we wrote i cap minus j cap by root 2 we have to do this dot product of these two vectors and finally again i cap minus j cap by root 2 we have to simplify this very simple this is 2i plus 3j okay this is minus you keep it like this only minus you keep it like that only dot product you know dot product of vectors this is 2i cap this i cap 2i cap into i cap how much is nothing but 2 again here what we have plus and here minus plus into minus how much minus here one minute one minute i forgot here root 2 here see here i by root 2 right this is i by root 2 so root 2 also will come in the denominator so let me write common root 2 okay let me write everywhere root 2 here 2 and here 2 i cap what i am doing now this 2 i cap into i cap means i cap dot i cap is 1 so 2 plus 3 j cap into minus j cap means j cap j cap 1 plus 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 and common root 2 by root 2 i am doing this root 2 i kept down i hope you are clear doing dot product in your dot product everybody knows that one i cap minus j cap by again here what we have root 2 so now you have to help me what i am writing here 2 i cap plus 3 j cap minus root 2 into root 2 is 2 2 minus 3 is minus 1 into minus i cap sorry plus i cap minus j cap what i have to write here i cap minus j cap so like that i can write now what happened minus into minus minus into minus plus so what is my final answer i can write here 2i plus 3j minus of minus plus 
I cap minus J cap by 2. I cap minus J cap by 2. How you got this one, sir? See here, what is that? 2i plus 3j. Here, minus 1, minus into minus plus. I cap minus J cap by 2. I hope you are clear. So, now what should I do? I have to simplify this one. How to simplify? Take LCM. Everybody know simplification, sir. Yes, everybody know. 4i cap plus 3 into 2 6j cap plus what should I write i cap minus j cap by 2 so 4i cap plus 7i cap 5i cap 6j cap minus j cap 5j cap by what I have 2 or I can write 5 by 2 into i cap plus j cap I hope you are clear with this calculation so my answer is 5 by 2 i cap plus j cap observe where is 5 by 2 i cap plus j cap yes first option so here what is the problem here is if you don't know that formula you have to derive this total thing if you have to derive in exam it is not possible that's why if you have already the idea about this a sin theta n cap what is a sin theta n cap the Vector component of A bar perpendicular to B bar in same plane. It is also called vector component of A bar perpendicular to B bar in same plane. So, finally, this is the procedure to get the value. If you know this formula, directly you can start from here. It don't take that much time. It don't take that much time to solve. Simply you will get this answer. Or if you have to derive the formula and everything what will happen? It consumes more time for you in the exam. So my suggestion, please learn first derivation. After learning derivation, just uh, fix with this formula. Learn the formula for component of A bar perpendicular to B bar in the same plane. I hope you are understanding how to handle this problem. Thank you beta.